I truly believe that if you apply these tips and tricks to your shop, Etsy will notice this and will start recommending your shop to more and more buyers. Are you struggling to get your shop noticed? Despite all the efforts, it just seems like Etsy is not promoting your shop. In this video, I'm going to reveal five powerful tips to help you boost your Etsy shop's visibilities, drive more traffic and sales. I've been selling on Etsy for almost a decade now, made over seven figures in sales, and I learned a lot along the way. So now I want to share my insights with you. And after this video, I'm sure you're gonna find new ways on how to improve your shops. So sit back and relax, and let's take your Etsy shop to the next level. Let's get into it. Number one are mockups. Now, why is this important? It's the first thing that people see and you might have the best product ever, but if you're not showcasing it in the right way, no one is going to know you exist. I remember when I first started years ago, I had a laser cutting wall art business and I spent like hours and hours building up my products. And when it came to presenting it in my photography, I just spent like a couple clicks, took some pictures and that was it. And resulting in no traffic and no sales. So ever since then, I've learned the importance of having good mockups and showcasing it in the right way. Also, if you're able to make better mockups and get more clicks, Etsy will notice this and eventually recommending your listings to more and more people. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a shop by Yasmin. She's from Portugal and she makes handmade stationary products. She was kind enough to let me use this shop as an example. So truly appreciate it. But I think this can definitely help a lot of other people as well. So as you can see here, the products that she has has are really good. These are well designed products, but when it comes down to the mock up itself, you can tell some of them she's taking pictures by herself, which is cool, but sometimes you can make it way more cohesive by using mock ups. So, right here, you can tell this is a mock up, but let's see if we can find other ways to make a more realistic, more professional style mock ups in a very easy way. So, this is Creative Market, and I recommend this for anyone looking for mock ups. And if you know how to use Photoshop, then this is perfect for you. To show you how this would work, once you buy it, I went ahead and used a mock-up using her design to create this. As you can see, it's super easy to use as this is the mock-up. If you want to duplicate it, you can make variations of it since she has different types of bundles, right? It's very easy to customize these things and place different products in there. And I even went ahead and showing what it might look like if you were to put it in your same shop. So as you can see, you can just imagine once you have a lot of these same aesthetic ones, I try to keep it the same as uh, Yasmin's, but basically I think it could look a lot better. It can stand out more amongst other competitors, right? And make it a very cohesive way. So something to consider is using mockups from Creative Market as these are very high quality and very easily customizable, different colors, different shapes, adding the little shadow elements. Elements. Yeah, highly recommend. If you want a full tutorial on how to create these type of mockups, let me know in the comments and I can do more dedicated videos on how to do stuff like this. Also, I'll link this product in the description if you're interested in getting this exact same product. Number two are reviews. Now, why is this important? Etsy reviews are important for sellers to rank on Etsy because they act as a form of social proof for potential buyers. Positive reviews indicate that previous customers were satisfied with their purchase, which can increase trust and likelihood of making a purchase. Also, reviews will help Etsy's algorithm to understand which products and shops are popular and relevant to the user, which can hugely impact on how your listings are ranked on Etsy, resulting in more recommendations. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so back to the shop. As you can see in Yasmin's shop, there's no reviews, okay? And I'm not sure if you're running ads or not, but a common mistake I see a lot of new Etsy sellers make is they will have, let's say, five listings like this or maybe even more, and they'll start running ads without any reviews. It's a big mistake because, you know, you're actually spending money, not just on SEO, but you're spending real money to get your listing seen. And if you're going to be doing that, you may as well get some reviews first, just because it looks a lot better as you're having your listings with other competitors, give more social proof. So one thing I definitely recommend is start getting some reviews from friends and family. And I believe it's nothing wrong with that if you're just getting it started off the ground, getting some help, and they can actually be real customers of yours, right? So definitely recommend doing that uh, right when you get everything optimized. Before you run the ads, make sure to get at least one review. So, you know, just getting that five star is so much better than having zero. Also, if you're liking this so far, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn how to be successful selling on Etsy. Number three are banners. Now, why is this important? Having a well-designed Etsy banner is important for your Etsy shop because it's one of the first things that potential customers will see when visiting your shop. A well-designed banner can make a strong first impression and help establish your brand and set the tone for the rest of your shop. So let's check out the same shop for an example. So as you can see, Yasmin's banner here, you know, visually, this is actually 
actually a really nice banner. Handmade stationaries kind of explains what it is. But if you notice the banner, the logo, and now you scroll down to the products, do you notice something, right? Let's go back up here. The banner, logo, right? This kind of theme. And you come back down here with this kind of theme. If you didn't know by now, personally, I feel like it's not as cohesive with your designs and also in the banner, the same branding. So this happens a lot. You know, it's a very common thing that happens when you're starting out a shop, whether you're starting out doing the visuals, the branding, and then you're doing the product. Sometimes it doesn't align, right? Once you evolve, your initial ideas could be different than what you actually produce. So something to always pay attention to is how your listings, the themes, the mockups compare to the rest of the branding elements. Okay. And a simple way to do that is just using the same color palette. Okay. Even if you added some pink elements, some neutral tones in here, it'll tie it all together a lot better. And you might be wondering, you know, hey, how does this affect Etsy recommending my shop as the title of this video? Well, it does matter because once you do have people who are clicking in using tip number one, let's say once they're in there, they're going to see everything. They're going to see your banners, the logos, how you represent them. And if it doesn't make sense, if it doesn't show that it's professional and they might bounce, they might leave from your shop. But if it is professional, they're going to stay longer, right? They're going to start clicking into different listings. And once they do that, once they stay longer in your shop, Etsy will notice this. And if they notice that, hey, these buyers are actually sticking around, right? They're checking out different listings, maybe reading the announcement, reading the bio, and then they'll be like, hey, cool, this shop seems like a good shop. I'm going to recommend it more in the search page. It definitely does play a role in terms of overall shop optimization and getting recommended more. If you want to learn more tips about how to create an effective banner, I have a video available. So I'll leave it somewhere here on the screen if you want to check it out after this video. <laughs> Number four are sections. Now, why are categorizing your Etsy listings that important? Important. Here are some reasons. Number one, navigation. By creating sections in your shop, you make it easier for customers to find what they're looking for. Number two, organization. Categorizing your listings in sections can help keep your shop organized and make it easier for you to manage your products. It may seem easy now, but once you scale and get more products, it gets more and more complex. So make sure to set yourself up in an organized way at the beginning will save you headaches in the long run. Number three, searchability. This is one of the most important reasons as Etsy's search algorithm takes into account of the categories and sections of your shop when determining the search rank. So be mindful of how you label your sections as that counts as keywords. Number four, branding. Having sections in your shop can also help establish your brand and make it easier for customers to understand what type of products you offer. Number five is cross-selling. Organizing your products into sections can also help you cross-sell related items. The goal is to increase sales by encouraging customers to purchase additional items that complement or enhance their original purchase. For example, if you're trying to sell a t-shirt, maybe you want to recommend them a certain type of pants because it matches the t-shirt, right? It's the same aesthetic. So that's what cross-selling means is you're offering an original item, but you're also recommending something else that complements or enhances the first item, making it a good purchase to buy together. Also, if you're interested in having your shop reviewed by me and my team, I have a service on my website you should check out. It's basically a full deep dive critique of your Etsy shop. And we go over things like giving you a constructive feedback on what's working, what's not. We provide design and branding tips to help you stand out. We also do listing audits and SEO rewrites just to improve your search visibility. It's basically like a personal step-by-step -step action plan to help take your shop to the next level. It's always good to have an extra eye just to see if there's anything that you're missing out on. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out in the link below. All right, so number five are titles and tags. You've probably heard this one a lot already, but it's important to note that having a clear, accurate, and descriptive titles and tags is super important to make it easier for customers to find your products and also for Etsy algorithm to understand the product and categorize it correctly and ultimately recommending your shop to more people. So let's take a look at Lemon Lime Shop again and I'll show you what I mean. So let's check out this one listing here and let's see how the titles are being used. You are using definitely the primary keyword which is great but I recommend using it making it longer. Right here is a good phrase budget notepad but if you see here you got notepad and then stationary. You know you might as well put them together. You might as well do stationary notepad just so that Etsy recognizes that that is the phrase you want to use. And feel free to use different types of adjectives. So maybe you want to use pink, maybe you want to say cute, modern, right? These different types of ways of describing your products, you can add it in here as well. If you want to learn more about different ways to using keywords and tags and SEO in general, I have an ultimate SEO playbook. You can check out in the link if you want to learn more about how to apply these type of keywords in your shop. Another quick way to find inspiration on what type of keywords to put in, you can just search on Etsy, to be honest. So I'm just going to search 
budget notepad and if you take a look at all the different listings monthly budget spreadsheet monthly daily weekly budget planners maybe you want to put the year in there right that's, that's a good idea to do that maybe not 2022 but 2023 like this one here yeah but i think obviously this might not be <laughs> applying to your actual niche but it's a good way to just see what other people are using so give you inspo on how you can do it on yours something else i want to note is that i truly believe that if you apply these tips and tricks to your shop etsy will notice this and will start recommending your shop to more and more buyers it won't be instant it will take a bit of time but just slowly improving your shop by 1% at a time, 1% over here, 1% over there, it really does make a difference. Okay, so really try your best to apply these tips into your shop. See what you can do to make it different, make it better. There's always room for improvement, even for my shops. I always find ways that I didn't think about yet that I can improve on. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. And if you want to get your shop reviewed, make sure to check out the link below for our shop critique service. And subscribe if you are not a subscriber to the channel. It really does help support so I can create better content for you. So until then, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.